see Republicans make gains, but if you're in an off-cycle election where you do this as a special election cycle, it is not guaranteed that Republicans will hold this seat. I imagine that's something that McCarthy, newly minted after a very tough speaker's battle, would like to avoid. Nevertheless, it does seem like as the calls grow from home, and we're seeing them continue on the side of the screen here, it's harder for them to think that Santos can continue here in Congress when, again, the very people who elected him are saying that he shouldn't be here anymore. Former Congressman Max Rose is still with me. So you're obviously very familiar with New York politics. Talk to me. Is this about weighing short-term consequences and long-term consequences? Because on one hand, yes, Ali Vitale talking about that razor-thin majority on Capitol Hill. But Nassau County eventually wants to save this seat in two years, right? Sure. Sure. So look, politically speaking, Santos is a dead man walking. I mean, that that's I'm blown away by, by what I just saw. But there's still the question right now of the basic math. I think at the very least, Santos announces that he does not run again. But when you think about a special election in a district that Biden won by double digits in such a small margin, I'm still not certain that the Republican leadership is going to want Santos to actually formally resign, which will trigger a special election within months that the Democrats will likely win. Now, conversely, If the Democrats do not win that special election, now you're looking at what's potentially a a, a seismic change in the politics of many of our swing districts, particularly in New York. So this is going to be really interesting times ahead, but I don't see Santos getting placed on committees now, and I certainly don't see him ever running for office uh, in the near future ever again. All right. Ali Vitale, former Congressman Max Rose, good to have both of you. Thank you.